Oh, Lord, she's coming. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Brenna, say thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes. Second side. Subscribe. Yes. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the second video part one because part zero I posted a few days ago. You don't need to watch that to get the entire gist of this. It was just kind of like a, a crude setup. Still relevant, but not necessary. So this is a, a pump that I've been working on. It is not a replacement for a RAM pump. RAM pumps are amazing devices. If you wanna learn more about RAM pumps, go check out land to house on youtube seth does an awesome job of telling you how to tune them and build them and modify them to do things that you wouldn't expect with a short supply of water if you have a stream that's only dropping about i don't know three feet two feet a ram pump doesn't supply a whole lot of height but this could uh, i still have to work on finessing a lot of the features and simplifying and certifying the design but it's something that I, I wanna improve on. I'm gonna be replacing this bending piece of wood here with a steel pipe. So that should be a lot better. Let's go up to the supply of water and I'll show you what I have going on there. The pump is running now, so it's supplying a, a little bit of water. Anyways, I have here this constant trickle of water from a spring way up on the hill. You can see a whole bunch of other videos I've done with this water supply. Seems kind of low right now. I should probably go check on things up there. So that just goes in here as a collection buffer tank. So as I said, this is the delivery pipe from the pump. This supplies the bucket with water, and this is the overflow. And the lighter color green pipe at the bottom, that supplies water to the bellows pump. This is where all the action is happening. Here we have our supply of water coming in from the barrel. It goes through a valve so I can control it whether it's on or off. This is a one-way check valve flowing this direction. This is a T that goes up to a 2,500 pound air spring. And then the T continues on through another one-way check valve going in this direction. And then there's a T here with a pressure gauge on the other side. We'll get to that soon. And then this is a spigot for a delivery pipe. If I close the valve and manually dump the bucket, we can see a full pressure cycle. I'm going to manually cycle this just so you can see what it looks like as it operates. The amount of water in here now, uh, about there, has overcome the head pressure required to squirt the water out. And pull this down and it's squirting out of the nozzle up there until the bellows bottoms out. Okay, it's bottomed out there. I'm gonna manually dump this and let the camera record for a full cycle. I'm gonna put in fast forward so you can see what it looks like. So I did some rough calculations. The stroke here is about two foot three inches and that equals our supply height. So imagine our source of water was only falling 
two foot three inches. That's your supply head. Delivery head, as it's set up, can produce a maximum of 30 feet. So that's two foot three inches of supply versus 30 feet of delivery. That's a ratio of 13.3 to one. Volumetrically, assuming this takes five gallons per full cycle, the bellows pump will output 0.2 gallons per cycle. That's a volumetric efficiency of 25 to one. So as it's set up, it's about 50% efficient. Uh, if I were to increase the efficiency, the vertical efficiency of this, because it takes a lot of height to cycle everything because the bucket has to fill, so that's like a foot and a half. Plus this stick is bending a lot. And that's maybe another six inches or so. So if I can shorten this bucket a lot and make this stiffer, then I will actually be able to run on a even lower supply of head. Instead of two foot three inches, it could be more like one foot six inches, maybe, optimistically. We'll see once I design and build a stiffer, less janky setup. Huh. I just came out here to add a little bit to this video on the end, and it appears that my weight has fallen off. It did not like being cantilevered like that so much. Another fact that I want to stipulate is I have it mounted to a tree with this post and ratchet straps because I wanted something that was sturdy that I could test with because I knew I'd be generating hundreds of pounds of force. Ultimately, this can be a standalone unit that would be laying on the ground because it doesn't need to be suspended like this if I have a rigidly mounted tipping bucket on some bearings. I only did it this way because I knew that I could generate the appropriate automatic tipping actions and it'd be really easy and fast and simple to prove the concept of, and it has done that. So we're gonna make something that has a, a smaller, shorter tipping bucket that looks a lot like one of these. So I'll be remaking this with a lot stiffer setup on something on the ground with an adjustable bellows mount and everything should be adjusted. I can even vary the volume of the bucket that's tipping so I can make it consume less water here, but I'll get less force. So it's faster pumping, so you get more volume, but lower pressure, because uh, volume and pressure are a trade-off in this sort of thing. The Japanese have been making devices similar to this. They're called a shishi odoshi. And every time they bang, they keep away animals. And so this has a very similar functionality to those. I had to add this additional tongue here because it would fill up and I don't have enough water flow to make it tip over rapidly. It would just kind of dribble over the edge. But if I added this, then it would tip and keep filling and tip and keep filling until it tipped far enough to dump. This shape is actually reminiscent of actual shishi odoshis that have that pointed tip on the bottom side. I have the clamp on there because sometimes it just sticks a little bit too far down that way and it won't fill up. I've got some supplies here to make a yoke for that new tipping bucket. And I'm printing out a hinge point for the long pole and a hinge. Yes. I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.